Oh my god, I love that game! <laughs> oh, you got this. Oh, this is the final call for the girls in long jump. All athletes need to be checked in. All girls in the long jump need to be checked in. This is the final call. If athletes are not competing, they should not be on the infield. The infield is for athletes who are competing or waiting for their event. Everyone else needs to clear the infield, please. Coaches and athletes who are checking in at the bullpen are the only ones who should be on the infield. Everyone do their first jumps, and then I was the last jumper. So I never did the first jump. Nicholas, Matthew, Calvin. Boys, four by 100 meter relay teams should be checking in. The only athletes on the infield right now should be the relays. Girls and boys, four by 100 meter relays. Everyone else should be off the infield. I was going to say, you look just like that button. Yeah, lift your legs. I didn't recognize you at first. We have results of the boys' 100 meter dash. In sixth place is Brady McGinnis from Dover. In fifth place is Cameron Hiles from Exeter. In fourth place is Jason Blaisdell from Oyster River. In third place is Paul Butler from Spalding. Second place is Nate Ashby from Sanborn. And third the boys one meter dash is Ty Doyle from Oyster River with a time of 11 44. Reminder that athletes were looking for interviews for our first place winners or working in how to track and feel that content. And we have awards for you next to the tent on the table on the infield. And the girls 100. Sixth place was Raina Thompson from Exeter. Fifth place was Josephine Malloy from the program. Fourth place was Hope Sinclair from Winnicunna. Third place was Anna Kunish from Exeter. Second place was Lily Jenkins from Portsmouth. And the winner, the girls 100 meter dash, with a time of 13 flat, was Grace Kunish from Exeter. The results of the 100 that we just announced, the girls 100 meter dash was sponsored by Summit Supply, and the boys 100 meter was sponsored by Exeter Sport and Spine. In the 110 high hurdles, that event was sponsored by DTC Lawyers on the boys' side. And on the girls' side, Auto Fair Nissan from Stratum is a sponsor of our 100 meter hurdle race. Calvin, then Eli. We have some field event results. In the discus, for the boys, in sixth place is Silvio Rosos from Spalding. In fifth place is Owen Dago from Spalding. In fourth place is Jason Blaisdell from Oyster River. Third place was Kevin Colodija from Sanborn. Sorry, Kevin. Second place was Nikolai Tozak from Portsmouth. And the winner of the boys' discus was Caden Giordani from Oyster River with a throw of 116 feet, one inch.
Hey, are any of you guys in the 4 one? In yes. the boys' javelin. They, they messed up this, the range and stuff. In sixth place, we had Isaac LaPointe from Spalding. In fifth place, Alexander Frost from Winnicunit. In fourth place is Evan Venn from Portsmouth. Third place is Nate Fletcher from Portsmouth. Second place was Ben McFarlane from Portsmouth. And the winner of the boys javelin with a throw of 144 feet 3 inches was Jason Eaton from Portsmouth. Reminder that you can find results for today's meet at sstresults.com. Those are complete results for the meet. Our awards table is on the infield next to the red tent. We have the winners for our first through sixth place. There you go, one behind, one behind. Let's go, Zach! Let's go, Zach! Let's go, boys. Next up on the track will be the 4x100 meter relay. While we're getting ready for that, we're ready to announce results of the girls' 1600 meter. This event was sponsored by Brentwood Fence from Brentwood, New Hampshire. In sixth place was Tessa Brown from Oyster River. In fifth place was Allison Bortz from Dover. Fourth place was Margaret Spooler from Dover. Third place was Allison McFarland from Exeter. Second place was Haley Cavanaugh from Oyster River. The winner of the girls' 1600 meter run with a time of 5.12.50 was Sheldon Fisher from Co Brown. Oh, it was so close. Just a reminder also that we have a concession stand that is open by the entrance to the track. We're selling pizza, there are snacks, there are drinks. There are also meat t-shirts for sale on the table by the door. We have results of the girls' pole vault. We had a tie for fifth place between Shannon Ross of Phil Brown and Christine Giardi from Winnipeg. In fourth place, we had Amelia Edmonds from Co Brown. In third place, we had Olivia Buzzle from Co Brown. In second place, we had Aaron Eastwood from Exeter. The winner of the girls' pole vault with a height of 10 feet 7 inches was McKenna Lee. We're still looking for the Summersworth Boys 4x100 meter relay team. At the check in, please.
two kids that were there. We went on two across on the table. Yeah, that Chris kid that long jumps, he's, he's not even here. Right. We are ready for boys at the triple jump. All boys competing in the triple jump. Daniel! You can check in. Daniel Doherty! <laughs> Girls 400 meter runners can check in on the infield. Girls 400 meter runners can check in on the infield. We have results of the boys' 1,600 meter run. This event was sponsored by Minuteman Press. You've seen those graduation signs in everyone's yard. That's where they came from. In sixth place, Tyson Khalil, Khalil maybe, from Sanborn. In fifth place, Matthew Fairhurst from Timberlane. In fourth place, Matthew Allen from Exeter. In second place, Jared Khalil from Sanborn. In second place, Lars Hagen from Co Brown. In the first place, runner in the boys 1600 with a time of 4:22:14 was Tyler Sheedy from Dover. Okay, got it? 
are Cameron and Dante. Hey, my name's Matthew. Cameron, Dante, Matthew, Boys, 400 meter runners can check in on the infield. Boys in the 400, you can check in on the infield.
we have results for the girls triple jump. In sixth place, Colleen Bartell from Exeter. In fifth place, Alexis Cowan from Cole Brown. In fourth place, Natalie Sicard from Cole Brown. In third place, Meadow Gregory from Exeter. In second place, Grace Bronkema from Summersworth. And the winner of the girls' triple jump with a leap of 33 feet 2 inches is Josephine Malloy from Cole Brown. Results of the 4 by 100 meter relay for the girls. This event is sponsored by CP Lumber, which is located in Kensington, New Hampshire. In sixth place, we had Summersworth. In fifth place was Dover. Oyster River was fourth. Spalding was third. Winnicunit was in second place. And the winner, with a time of 51.89, was Exeter. Please remember that the winners should be reporting to the Red Tent to do their interview with NewHampshireTrackAndField.com. And we have awards for you next to the Red Tent. We have t-shirts for the champion of each event. And then we have ribbons for places one through six. Heidi. Can you go to the pole vault, please? Thank you. How'd you do? Uh, I think our team got fourth. Uh, our handoff from me to my teammate wasn't the best. You're the last one to jump in this height. Right. There's only four other people. We have them ready. Right. Um, we'll give you time to rest, and then you can do your three, okay? We're only at five seconds. Yo, I'm rooting for you, man. Got it. I agree. You can do it. I have an announcement for all coaches. We will be running the 3200 as a combined event today. The girls and boys 3200 will be combined today.
ready for flight two of the girls long jump. We have the results of the boys, four by 100 meter relay. In sixth place was Spalding. Fifth place was Oyster River. Fourth place was Sanborn. Third was Exeter. Second was Winnicunit. And the winner of the boys, four by 100 meter relay with a time of 46.39 was Dover. Girls in the 300 meter hurdles, you should be checking in on the infield. Girls in the 300 meter hurdles, you can be checking in on the infield. Yeah, I think it's 